Good morning, everybody. Today, we have a new battery. Let's open it up. Okay, this is the Reliabat lithium iron phosphate, uh, 100 amp hour, 12.8 volt. Oh look, it's a smart Bluetooth battery. I wasn't expecting that. Nice. I like the case. It definitely is a smaller form factor, which I enjoy that a lot more than the bigger batteries that have the smaller cells inside, but the, the case is massive. So I'd rather save space than to take up a bunch of useless space. So I guess what I need to do is I need to figure out what app this uses. And there's no manual in the box whatsoever. It's just packing material. And so that's it. So let me grab my tablet and I'll see if I can figure out what app I need to use. Let's try the JBD app and see if we pick up anything. I don't see anything new. So it must not, that must not be the one. Okay, so let's try their website here. Let's see what we got. All right, well, there's the battery right there, the RE12-100BL. Oh, it says it has Bluetooth and heating. Wow, what a nice battery. Oh, and there's kind of a teardown view. And uh, looks like their price on their website is $4.99. But where do we f get the app? We need the app. They have a download section. I don't think I see it in the app store. So, okay. Okay, well, I, I had to do a Google search and I ended up at <laughs> some Black Friday page. And uh, now I've got a download button here. Okay, so there's an app now. And I see this Z12100 2677 which is the same thing it says here on the side. So I'm assuming that must be it. Okay, now we've connected. We're at 57% state of charge. All right, and there's our individual uh, cell voltages. And, um, well, that looks like about it. We've got the individual cell voltages and state of charge and how much current and the voltage and the temp and the status. All right, well, it is a Bluetooth app, uh, battery. So what I'm gonna do now is I'm gonna charge it up and then we're going to do a capacity test. All right, so let's uh, plug in the charger and there we go. Shows that we are charging with 42 amps. And the status is charging. All right, guys, so we're going to leave that to do its thing, and then we'll be back when it's complete. Okay, guys. Uh, well, so I've been charging this battery, and um, we got something interesting. It's showing 100%. Showing the voltage at 14.61, uh, the current at 0.8, the charger's still on, so it's still accepting charge. But you ready for this? Let's go to info. Check this out, guys. Cell zero is at 3.521 volts. Cell one is at 3.833 volts. Cell two is at 3.865 volts. Cell three is at 3.10, uh, 3.401 volts. That one's fine. As we all know, you should only really charge these cells to 3.65. I've seen some BMSs allow that up to 3.7, but uh, 3.83 and 3.866 no way that's too much this BMS should have already shut down it's still in a charging I'm gonna go ahead and disconnect the battery uh, so we don't continue to overcharge those cells and as you can see they're still at the 3.8 3.84 alright guys so I've got this set up to do the discharge test but first I'd like to charge it again 
and see what these cells look like. Right now, they're in the safe zone. We got 3.37, 3.4, 3.4, 3.34. And I'm gonna charge it again and see what happens. I also sent an email to the manufacturer of this battery asking them to please uh, give me some kind of explanation from their their engineers about why these cells or this why does this BMS allow these cells to be charged that high I'm hoping that they tell me that this is just a malfunctioning battery and that's not truly how they have it set up all right so charger connected we are pushing in 42 amps yeah and already again we're seeing those two cells we're almost at 3.8 again there it is we're at 3.8 again on cell one cell two is about to be 3.8 uh, once again so i'm going to go ahead and stop charging and we're just going to go ahead and move forward with the discharge capacity test all right so i've got the shunt recording over here and we're going to turn on the inverter All right, so we're pulling uh, 62 amps, and uh, we're going to let that run until it completes, and I'll be back. All right, guys. We're getting close to completion. We're down to 3% and we've discharged 97.8 amp hours so far, 1,240 watt hours. All right, we're down to 1% and we have discharged 99.45 amp hours. Coming up here, Real soon, we are going to be at full capacity. I think we'll I think we're definitely going to make it. Twelve thousand, uh, twelve hundred and sixty-three watt hours. Eleven point seven volts. Here we are. We're about to hit it. There it is. One hundred amp hours. So we have pulled full capacity. Let's see if we hit 1,280 watt hours here. I think we will. Yeah, it is 1,280. 101.3 amp hours so far. And still going. So that's, uh, that's good. That, uh, that test has passed. Now we're still up in the air as to why this BMS allowed the cells to charge so high. Hopefully I get a reply back soon. Um, typically I get a reply back overnight because it's China and you know they're up when we're asleep so. <laughs> I hear the fan starting to slow a little bit on the inverter that means we're I'm getting real low there. We got 103 amp hours, 1300 watt hours. I think I'm going to go ahead and shut it out. There we go. All right. All right. So we stopped at 103.61 amp hours, 1306 watt hours. That's a good test result on the discharge test. Now, I'm curious, if we look at the BMS app, what do the cells look like? Um, <clears throat> there it is. All right, we got 2 2.875, 2.831, 2.753, 2.871. So nothing has gone below 2.5. Let me turn the 
inverter back on and see. Now we got one cell at 2.44, 2.3. So this BMS is not actually protecting even at the low. Yeah, so uh, <clears throat> that cell went to 2.3. I would expect the BMS to have shut down discharge at that point. Yeah, so something's wrong here. All right, well, I'm going to wait to hear back from the manufacturer. And regardless, I think tomorrow we're going to tear this battery down to uh, take a look at its internals. All right, guys, so I charged this battery back up. Of course, we're high on the cell voltages again. So what I'm going to do is uh, I've got this variable power supply, and I think I'm going to set this to like 16 volts and hook it up to this battery and see how much this thing allows us to overcharge the battery. So we can see how bad this problem is. Oh, that'll work. Like we were already at 15.8 uh, volts. That should be plenty. All right, so uh, we have, we're at 14.78 volts. Okay, it looks like 14.74, and these cells are 3.87, 3.856. And it appears like maybe, okay, we're finally in the protect status. So it did protect the battery. But again, these cells are, are, are higher than, than what we're used to. All right, well, let's tear this thing down. All right, you guys, I think I got it. Now this one was <laughs> a little easier than some of the ones I've gotten recently. And let's open her up. Get a hold up somewhere. Oh, there's some glue, there we go. All right, there we go. We can see the heating pad. Nice, thick, six gauge uh, silicone positive lead. We've got a nice double eight gauge for the negative. Uh, the construction so far looks really really good. BMS here on the side. Uh, the cells are in a plastic cell holders. The battery appears to take up most of the space in the case. Like I said earlier, usually we see these batteries and there's a bunch of open free space in there. It's like a bag of chips. <laughs> Well, there's a the temperature probe, so at least we can test the uh, low temperature cutoff. Okay, we're in charging status. The charger's on, so you should hear this turn off if the low temp protection works. So here we go. We're at 19, uh, 
okay, we're at negative 13C, and it's saying protect. Okay, we're at, we are in zero current, so it did work. Uh, it's just that my charger is still running for some reason. But uh, we'll check it with the meter here to make for certain that we're not pulling anything. Okay, we went back into charging mode, so let's uh, freeze this thing again. There it is. Okay, now it went off, and uh, we're pulling, pulling no current according to the meter. All right, well, so the low temperature protection does work. I'm not going to rip these cells out. There's a lot of glue into the corners and whatnot. It's going to be a lot of effort, and I don't want to cut my hands up anymore. <laughs> uh, so, but what I am going to do is the BMS uh, leads are right here, the uh, sense wires. I'm going to pull those off and measure to make sure the readings that we're seeing in the app correspond. All right, so we've, we're at the 3.8, 3.8 again on those two cells. And I'm going to measure, so 3.5 on the first cell, 3.76 on the second, 3.74 on the third, 3.38 on the fourth. So I pretty much think that what the BMS is saying is correct. Well, there you go, guys. Um, I think that's going to be it for this video. This battery pretty much checks out with the exception of it letting those cells get so high. I would not be comfortable with my cells running close to 3.9 volts. I think it's teetering on being dangerous in addition to it possibly being a danger. I don't feel like these cells are going to like that for the, for very long. You know, how long is this thing going to, going to last? I feel like these cells are going to just be damaged over time. If your cells reach that voltage every so often, you know, like it happened once or twice throughout its life, it's probably not going to do any damage. I've actually had cells that I've overcharged to 4.2 4 for a very short period of time. And they turned out to be perfectly fine. I'm talking about a very short period of time, maybe 30 minutes. But I think the long term, having cells that are being charged 3.8, 3.9, it, it, I feel like it's going to, it's going to shorten their life. All right, guys. So I haven't heard back from the manufacturer of this battery. It is the weekend, so they they may just be off. Uh, perhaps I'll hear something back throughout the week. If I hear something back from them and I get some kind of explanation, I'll do a follow-up video. But as it stands right now, I would not recommend this battery. Okay, guys, that's going to be it for the video, and I'll catch you on the next one.